Hedy Lama, the starlet who invented Wi-Fi, Hollywood, 1940, posing alongside Judy Garland and Cecil B. DeMille, they call her the most beautiful woman in the world. Directors frame her face in perfect light, and the world falls silent. But inside, Hedy Lamar is restless, born with an IQ over 150 and a mind that won't stay still. Between takes with Clark Gable and Spencer Tracy, she sketches designs. Notes on radio waves and torpedo guidance systems scribbled across film scripts. Her co-stars memorize lines. She's memorizing frequencies. Long before modern wireless technology, she imagined a system that could send messages without being jammed. Two devices jumping between frequencies in perfect rhythm, like two instruments playing in secret harmony. She and composer George Antile built it with piano rolls. Music turned into encryption, melody turned into defense. But when she presented it to the Navy, they laughed. Stick to the screen, Miss Lamar, they replied. She patented it anyway and filed it away. The world wasn't ready for a woman who could weaponize rhythm and beauty at the same time. She starred in Samson and Delilah, a blockbuster of its time. Yet the more the world adored her beauty, the more it forgot her brilliance. Her invention gathered dust for decades. Decades later, engineers rediscovered her patent. It became the foundation of the wireless age, the invisible architecture behind Wi-Fi, GPS, and Bluetooth. The pretty face had drawn the crowd. The mind had connected the world. She once said, any girl can look glamorous. All you have to do is stand still and look stupid. She just never learned to stand still. Because sometimes being too much wasn't vanity. It was vision. Subscribe for more of History's Misfits.